What's up everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I'm finally gonna check out the Black Ops announcements, you know, for Blackout and the multiplayer and zombies, and, and I'm just gonna take a look at it. I'm so excited right now, so let's just jump straight into it. First, let's check out the Blackout reveal. Kill all of them. We all love Black Ops for its combat experience. This is true, this is true. But imagine if we took that gameplay experience you know and love, and we spun it on its head. Interesting. We don't have to describe how Battle Royale works. These games are no secret. We play them too. What? But for us to even consider this kind of experience, it had to be unique and done in a way only Black Ops could do. A survival game with the best, most refined mechanics in the world. Our signature controls and gameplay systems. And the oh, kind God. of fast-paced action that only Call oh, of no. Duty can deliver. Oh, Jesus. All in the biggest oh. map we've ever made. Oh, bigger than Gustav Cannon, hopefully. And that is just the beginning. We're bringing to bear 10 years worth the Black Ops Universe features. Your favorite characters, your favorite weapons, iconic parts of your favorite maps. Why and don't we're putting them all do in that one place. Multiplayer? A crazy collision of fun and letting you navigate it with land, sea, and air vehicles. Something cool. you haven't experienced before. Yeah, Call of Duty used to have this vehicles. Is Remember totally that? New. This is doing Battle Royale the Black Ops way. Ugh. This is Blackout. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. So that was just a bit of a meme on my part, kind of capturing my my knee-jerk reaction to Battle Royale and doing it the Call of Duty way. Ugh. But I think it goes without saying that we are concerned that Call of Duty may be replicating the experience that Fortnite is known for replicating the experience that PUBG is known for replicating the experience that H1Z1 is known for replicating the experience that Minecraft Hunger Games is known for. I think that goes without saying. So like, like this is, this is what Call of Duty is now. It's Battle Royale, I guess. I, I can't say I'm surprised. I, I can only say that I can only cringe so much watching that. So before I talk about Black Ops 4 in any capacity, I have to remind you, disclaimer, that the game is not out yet. No shit. So everything I'm gonna say in this video, I'm saying as an impression. Th these are my impressions, predictions, these are my thoughts looking at these reveals and announcements and trailers and all that. So I, I guess the leaks and the rumors were true. No single player campaign at all. And if the other Call of Duty leaks are to be believed, that means no multiplayer in the Modern Warfare 2 remaster. And I can't help but think that's, um... Uh, uh, what's the word? Retarded! That's it, thank you! I also like the tagline, forget what you know. Because it's almost like they want you to forget what the older Call of Duties were like and, and what made them awesome. For, forget what you know about the COD series and its roots and what makes it special and unique and fun. Forget what you know, people. You know nothing. This is Battle Royale right now. This is, that's what Call of Duty is. That's what it's going to be known for forever. Battle Royale. It's the new thing. It, it, it's a tagline that connects with this general theme of Black Ops 4 being a game that is going to innovate, blow you away. Try things that have never been done before. This is something totally new. This is doing Battle Royale the Black Ops way. And like, that's kind of the vibe I've gotten from these announcements and reveals. But the problem is, I don't consider removing core features of a game that have been there since its inception to be innovation. That's, uh, that's, that's called removal, right? You know what that word means? Uh, getting rid of shit. That's removal. So before you go down to the comments and send me a hastily typed, barely legible hate comment, I want you to pay attention to, at the very least, this point here. You can't innovate through removal. You can't do it. Because when it comes to game design, when you remove things, you're getting rid of the shit that sucks. Like, for example, a price tag on all future maps. That would be innovation, actually. But it's not removing things from the game itself, you're removing this barrier to the content. That's innovation. 
Black Ops 1 didn't innovate by giving us a single zombies map. It innovated by giving us two, and it had a full-length, honest-to-God, badass campaign to go along with it. Black Ops 1 innovated by adding Dead Ops Arcade, something we, we didn't even know we wanted or needed, but it was there. I mean, that's, that's what I'd call a freebie. What Call of Duty has been doing for a long time now is cutting out a piece of the pie that they're selling you. Cutting out one piece at a time from the various different pies they've sold you. And they're charging you the exact same price for what is essentially a smaller and smaller pie every time you buy it. You want to innovate, huh? Give us shit that we don't expect to be there. Okay, Battle Royale act, man. Not like that. Not... I don't mean give us stuff we don't expect by hopping on the obvious trend. We don't have to describe how Battle Royale works. I mean, give us content that we feel like we're getting more than we expected. And sure, if Battle Royale was in there in the campaign as well, I'd say, fuck yeah, that's awesome. That's innovation. I mean, is it real fucking hard to understand or something that the gamers want more? And if you provide that, then we're happy? Innovate and give us free map packs. Why, why don't you do that, huh? Stop fracturing the player base and, and charging 60 bucks for a season pass on top of the microtransactions and fucking everything. How about, how about that kind of innovation, huh? Huh? Although, and I'm quite shocked by this, there's actually a rumor going around that that's what they're going to do. <laughs> don't, don't look at me if I, if I appear to have no hope in that, but... Considering that the leaks for the No campaign were true, th this has a possibility of also being true. And free map packs, you know, it makes sense that if they have a battle royale mode, zombies and multiplayer, that with map packs they're just going to fracture that already fractured community even more. So, it kind of makes sense in this scenario. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. So if you want to go type your hate comment, now you can. <laughs> because that whole point of innovation is the most important thing I can say in this video, all right? You can't innovate through removal in video games. I mean, why do you think Black Ops 4 is coming out earlier than any other game has in the series? Why do you think that is? Because they don't have to work on a fucking campaign. They just slap this battle royale mode together and doesn't take as much time. It says to me that they're trying to capitalize on this trend as quickly as possible. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's bad when you cut out core features like a single player campaign. That's, that's the whole crux of this issue, is we could have had both. It's not a one or the other, you know what I mean? Call of Duty makes enough money, I think you could pull the extra resources to, to make another campaign. Now, I understand that a lot of people really don't even care about the campaigns anymore, and that's, that's probably for a lot of reasons. Maybe it's the fatigue of the series, or just that their writers suck, or, you know, the whole advanced movement. Maybe people are just getting tired of Call of Duty's single players and stories, and, and being released every year, and having to come up with a new story is difficult. A story that doesn't suck. I can understand that. But another really important factor in all of this that I haven't seen people mention or talk about much at all, is the reason they're replacing the campaign with Battle Royale is now they have the entire game monetized. The entire game is monetized through microtransactions now. That's right. You better believe they're gonna have zombie packs, supply drops, and Battle Royale packs. I, I guarantee you. Well, I don't guarantee it because maybe they'll pull them into just two types of microtransactions, but believe me, the, the, I am... 99% certain there's going to be three types of microtransactions in this game. So I'll talk a bit more about the blackout mode a little bit later in this video. So let's move on to zombies. Now, I'm going to call it right now. It's going to be a clusterfuck of Skyrim side quests. That's, that's what it's going to be. And I'm not particularly interested in that type of zombies mode. I just want to survive. I, I don't want to fucking be the dragonborn when I play zombies. I don't want to have to go kill this bear 70 million times or run over there and pull this lever and... and fucking do all these menial tasks. I just want to kill zombies and survive and, and give me an interesting location to do that in. The Titanic is a pretty dope idea. That's that's pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm kind of excited for that, but at the same time, I, I'm almost certain it's going to be the type of zombies mode that I just personally don't like in the clusterfuck of Skyrim side quests. 
style. That, that's how I'll call it from now on. I also love how they play it off, like because they're cutting out the single player that they can afford to give two new zombies maps because players now only expect one at release, whereas Black Ops 1 gave us two and had a campaign like, like they think this is such a big deal. Like, oh, we don't have to make a single player campaign. We can make one more zombies map and a battle royale in its place. The problem is if you have a great ass story, all the multiplayer stuff can't replace that. It, it can't. Like if Halo 3 didn't have a story and it, and it had three more multiplayer maps when it released, It'd be like, what the fuck, dude? Where's the campaign? There's a, there's a lot of games like that. I mean, when the first Battlefront came out, the OG, they were like, why does the campaign suck so bad? Why, why is it just, just boring? And you know what? In Battlefront 2, they came out with a, a pretty damn good campaign. So it's like, we remember stories in our hearts and in our minds. And Black Ops 4 is robbing us of the opportunity to experience another one. And not metaphorically robbing, right? Now, the multiplayer does intrigue me, I'm not gonna lie. I've always felt Treyarch made the best Call of Duty games overall. So at the very least, you know, I, I can get it for that, maybe, and probably do a review of it, because I, I need something to wash the taste of shit out of my mouth from that COD World War II sandwich. Man, that, that was a gross sandwich. So he, here's another issue with having no campaign or story, is what's the framework of Black Ops 4 now? We've got the Titanic in some hybrid, futuristic, yet boots on the ground type of gameplay. What What's the framework? What What's framing this all? You know what I mean? Like Black Ops 1 had the framework of, you know, secret ops, Vietnam War, Cold War, and so all the maps and all the settings and everything tied in with what was in the campaign. I mean, the Zombies Map 5, where you play as Robert McNamara, Fidel Castro, Richard Nixon, and JFK, it's like that ties in with what the single player is all about. So, I'm curious to see what the framework is, or, or if there's any story behind this that, that logically ties in with the other modes. And it, it just bugs me, because remember when Call of Duty used to set trends instead of just blindly follow them? Remember that? Remember how they came up with kill streaks and perks and, you know, weapon customization and all of these things that are, are just the staple of the COD series? Remember those those innovations? Epridge Farm remembers. I mean, obviously Call of Duty has taken things from other shooters, you know, for the majority of the time that it's been a series. But we're talking things like taking the two weapon system from Halo and regenerating health from Halo 2 and 3. Like those those little things. So it's ditching the advanced movement trend and sacrificing its soul to the battle royale trend. It's like, be, because they milked advanced movement dry and there was nothing left. Similar to how Activision milked another series of games, a, a very popular trend. You, you might have remembered it or, you know, it had something to do with music and stuff. And, and now it's completely dead. What was that called? But I, I just see this as... Call of Duty really not having any sort of direction. It has to follow other things in order to, in, in order to thrive. I guess that's how I see it. I, I you know, Call of Duty is always going to be popular. It's always going to have an audience, but I just, I want it to be its own thing, to be unique and battle royale. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not that interested in the mode. I'm, I'm just not. I don't like sitting around for 15, 20 minutes a match just with my thumb up my ass. That's, that's not exciting to me. But it's like, now now they also have this sort of cover building mechanic that they showcased in some of these trailers. It, like, it looks like Rainbow Six Siege, obviously. People are making that comparison. And then, and then they tote this idea of bringing vehicles in as if it's some revolutionary new thing. Like, oh, Call of Duty never had tanks in World at War or on the old multiplayer maps. <laughs> and they're bragging about this huge battle royale map. And I'm just thinking... It, isn't that just what Battlefield is? A big map with vehicles? Why, why couldn't Call of Duty do that? Just just a big map. Just a big fucking map. Not like those war maps where they're microscopic maps tied together alongside string. Give us a huge fucking map, dude. And it doesn't have to be Battle Royale. Give us another wasteland. I will say, the idea of connecting these old classic Call of Duty maps into this huge Battle Royale map while... On the surface, I would call it lazy. As a longtime fan of the series, that's a really cool 
thing to fall down from a plane and then say, hey, I wanna go land at Summit or I wanna go land at High Rise. That's a really cool idea. And, and I'll give you huge props for that because you know, when, you, when you're able to recycle the things people love but spin it in a new way, that's always a good thing, most of the time. So you know, this Battle Royale has its pros and cons at, at first glance and time will tell how good the mode's gonna be how unbalanced it's gonna be or balanced and how fun it will be and if it's worth the sacrifice of single player campaign time will tell but they're also gonna have specialist classes uh forget what you know i bring him back the same specialist classes wh whatever so what it appears we have is a first person shooter battle royale mixed with elements of Rainbow Six Siege and their cover system on a battlefield-sized map with the Call of Duty formula. It's like an amalgamation of shit, and we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. But my hopes are right next to Squidward's hopes and dreams at the moment. So in conclusion, Black Ops 4 makes me cringe. Mostly the blackout announcement and, and just the, the, the confidence in what they were saying is something being revolutionary and new. And like, nobody saw that coming from 100 miles away. But there are some bright spots here. You know, we'll just have to wait and see how things play out. And from there, you should probably expect a Black Ops 4 review. No telling yet if it's gonna be bad or awesome. But let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments below. What do you think of Blackout, Battle Royale, this new direction, call it not new direction, this uh, stolen direction. What do you think of this direction that Call of Duty is going in now? Um, do you think Battle Royale is gonna die out just like that other game series of with music and stuff? Let me know. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the Act Man signing out. Peace.